That's good. Um, just uh, giving you a quick call, just wanted to give you an update um, with where things are at. I left your voicemail earlier, but um, I've got a bit more of an update now. So. <laughs> Just in Fellow Street now, heading down to an open house. We sold this property two years ago and it's back on the market now. So, I'm gonna pop back through, re familiarize myself with the floor plan layout. So, when I'm talking to buyers, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I might be right about that, Riley. <laughs> I'm feeling overly confident at the moment. Kind of like this guy. Jessica, will you go to prom with me? But I already know the answer. It's yes. It's been a great week for me. I feel like I'm actually starting to almost get some deals together that have been really tough to get together. And, uh, it's been really difficult to try and put some of these deals together at the moment with the current market. Which brings me to today's topic, the current market. Is it up? Is it down? Is it sideways? Great question, and I'm glad you asked. Anything that is below 1.2 million at the moment, selling really easily. One to 1.1, sort of a funny spot in the market where there's a lot of stock available. So you have to be priced perfectly to actually make sure that you get a sale and buyers aren't going elsewhere. Uh, there's a trend at the moment that buyers are, have a little bit more choice and they are taking their time working through things. If they see a property that they like, they generally also have another one that they're also looking at and they'll say, I'm gonna come back to this one. I'm just gonna go make an offer on this one. Whereas I would say six months ago, when there was less choice, buyers were almost making offers on both just to make sure they got something rather than trying to play the game and get the one that they prefer. I'm gonna be late for caravan.